All righty. Well, good morning. Welcome to MedVal Conditioning. Um, my name's Ryan. Thank you guys if you're joining for the first time. If you're joining for the first time, this isn't my normal environment. I'm, I'm away from my normal apartment and I got a nice studio that's based on my parents' place. <laughs> so thank you guys for joining. Um, today we're on, we're still working on phase one. We're on week three. So we're on upper, we're doing an upper body push workout and a lower body pull workout. So just the vice versa from the Tuesday workout. Um, again, we're still working through, through those circuits, building that base, and uh, we're getting a good solid workout in the day. So first things first, we're going to start off with our pillar prep. So let's get a good solid stance, toes pointed out, reach them as tall as you can. I got a ceiling right above me. And then reach down, touch your toes, getting in repetitions there, reaching up as tall as you can, and reaching up on down your toes. Get those hamstrings warmed up, get those calves warmed up. The back a little bit. One more. Nice. Next thing to do is arm circles, some big ones going forward. Loosen up those shoulders. And big ones going backwards. Go across the body, over and under, good swimmer stretch. Open up that chest. And then from there we're gonna do torso rotation. Just have those eyes follow those hands, rotating to your left and right. Loosen up that back. And then the last one here we're gonna do, just do a little quad stretch. So you can grab that foot and push that knee back to the alternating sides. You need to hang on, oh, you need to hang on to something, go for it. See, that was tipped over right when I said that. <laughs> getting some repetitions there, getting that quad stretched out. One more each way. You guys can relax. From there, we're moving on to our movement prep. Once again, we got four exercises. We're gonna do 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, two times through. Don't need to be going super fast as you're going through this, but um, by the end of it, make sure you're ready to rock and roll so we hit when we hit our first power round. The four exercises we're gonna do, the first one's gonna be a leg cradle to reverse lunge. All you're doing is grabbing your knee, grabbing your shin, pulling it to your chest, and then you're taking a big step back and drive on up. And there's an alternating side, leg cradle to the reverse lunge. After that, we're gonna do scapular push ups. So I'm gonna be down in that push up position, big chest, squeeze my core, let my chest fall between my shoulders, and then I'm gonna push through the ground. And notice how I'm doing this here. Only my chest is moving, not my arms. So my arms are staying straight the entire time. My chest falls through my shoulders and then it pushes through. After that, you're gonna need some type of chair or um, a bench. I got a nice bench right here. I'll put my feet up on it. I've got elevated glute bridges. So feet are on the edge of the bench. Sit at 90 degrees. I'm gonna drive my hips up and through and then bring it on down. Try to add a little pause for a second at the top. Make sure those hamstrings are locked in and those glutes are engaged. And then the last one we're gonna do is mountain climber. So roll it on over into that push up position and then drive those knees to those chests, working there. You just need to go one at a time, keep that tempo, go for it. So those are four exercises. We'll do two times through and then we'll proceed on to our strength and power round. So I'll get the clock rolling. We're starting off with the leg cradles to reverse lunges. All right, here we go. In three, two, one. We're hitting, hug that knee, hug that shin. Take a big step back. Hold 
Nice job. Two, one, relax. After that, go into those scapular push ups. Here we go. Two, one, we're hitting left chest, fall through your shoulders, and then push through the ground. Make sure you squeeze your core so you're not just dropping your hips. It feels more fluid. You stay tight. Two, one, relax. After that, elevate your glute bridges. Put those feet on the edge of the bench. Sitting at that 90 degrees, locking out at the top. Here we go. Two, one. We're getting to drive those hips up and through. Bring it on down. Locking it out at the top. Two, one, relax. And then after that, roll over that push-up position, mountain climber. Here we go. Two, one, we're getting it. Grab those knees, those chest. Getting that heart rate up. Squeezing that core. Two, one, relax. Going through it one more time. Reverse lunge that leg cradle. Here we go. Two, one. We're getting a big step back. Grab that knee and drive that chin up. Hugging it. Two, one, relax. Going to that scapular push up. Here we go. Two, one, we're hitting it. Squeeze those shoulder blades together at the bottom. Squeeze that core. Two, one, relax. Elevate glute bridges. Here we go. Two, one, we're getting it. Nice job driving those hips up and through. Here we go, two, one, relax. Last one, both mountain climbers. Here we go, two, one, we're heading at knees and chest. Nice job, last one here. Two, one, relax. Stand up, walk around, grab some water. Sorry for the noise from the furnace. Hopefully it all shut down here real quick. So now we're going to be rolling to our strength and power round next. We got those eight exercises we're going to work through. Some cardio, some strength. How's it gonna work? We do three rounds of them. First round, we'll do 20 seconds through. I'll show you the exercises in between so you have a little longer rest. Um, and then the second round will be 25 seconds, and then the third round will be 30 seconds. So 20, 25, 30. First round will be pretty easy, good acquaintance with the exercises, and then we're gonna pick up that pace the final two rounds. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. The first exercise we have. We have uh, pillar skips. So again, if you guys haven't seen it before, you're marching in place, you got big arms, big knees, and then you're adding a little hop to it. Just getting those knees up, getting those arms up, and make sure you don't hit the ceiling. <laughs> so 
down here. We're going to do 20 seconds of pillar skips. You want to march in place? Go for it. All right, here we go. First one here, 20 seconds of pillar skip. Let's hit it here in two, one. We're heading it. Big arms, big knees. Get them on up. Two, one, relax. So after that, we're going to go down to a push-up position. We're doing the same push-ups we did last week. With our arms shoulder width apart in good solid position. Knees off the ground. I'm going to go slowly control all the way down. As I get down there, my knees go down, and I push on up. So slowly control off your knees, and then push on up. When you're doing that, make sure your elbows aren't going super flared out but they're also not super tight in your body. They're somewhere in between. So as you're controlling down, make sure they're coming in at a 45 degree, uh, degree angle to your torso and your arm. If you wanna stay on your knees the entire time, you can go for that too, that's perfectly fine. But I'm gonna challenge you guys to stay off them today. All right, here we go. Let's hit it here in three, two, one. We're going slow and controlled, push on up. Squeezing that core, body in good alignment. Thanks, John. Your short time. Two, one, relax. After that, we have elevated glute bridges, a single leg go. So, you're finding that bench that we did in the warm up. You're gonna put one foot on the bench, other foot is gonna be straight. And you're gonna drive through that one heel, up and through, bring it on down, up and through, bring it on down. If that's really difficult on one leg, you can always drop down the two legs again. and work on this, just the regular elevated glute bridge, but we're gonna focus on the left leg first and then the right leg. So 20 seconds on the left leg here. Let's hit it here in three. Two, one, we're hitting it. Up and through, bring it on down. 20 seconds, locking it out at the top. Feel like good tension in that hamstring and drive through those steps. Short time here. Two, one, relax. And switch on on up, other leg this time. Gonna keep the other leg straight. Here we go. Two, one, we're rolling. Locking those hips out of the drop top, driving them up and through. This one's a little tougher than regular elevated glute bridge. You see, go down the two legs at some point, go for it. Short time here, two, one, relax. Nice job, gonna pop it on up onto our feet. We have some base rotations. So find those four corners, one, two, three, four. Put those feet in the opposite corners. We're gonna rotate those feet, rotate those hips. All right, here we go. Let's hit it here in three, two, one, we're hitting it. Rotating those feet, rotating those hips. Nice job. Go, go, go. Only 20 seconds this first time through. Two, one, relax. We have three more. Next one, you're gonna need those weights. Yeah, I'm around you. We have overhead tricep extensions. So my ceiling's too low, so I have to go kneeling. I'm gonna be right here. The weight's gonna be over my head, my elbows are high. And then I'm punching through those elbows, driving the ceiling with the weight. All right, here we go. Let's hit it here in two, one, 
we're going. Again, you don't have to be kneeling for this. You can be standing, driving through those elbows, driving that dumbbell to the ceiling. Two, one, relax. After that, grabbing those weights, maybe a little heavier this time, you have RDLs. So I got my two dumbbells here. I got a big chest and slight bend in my knees. I'm gonna push my hips back. I'm gonna feel that stretch in my hamstrings. Dumbbells are going to mid chin, and then my hips come through. Notice on the way down, how my back stays flat the entire time. I'm not rounding it to touch the ground. I don't need to touch the ground. I just need to feel the tension in my hamstrings and then drive those hips through. All right, here we go. Let's hit it here in three, two, one. We're hitting it two more. Hips go back, hips come through. Nice job, keeping those shoulders back, keeping that big chest, standing up tall. Two. One, relax. Here we go, last one here we have is lateral shuffles. Let's see how athletic you guys are. So, knees bent, staying low. Small shuffles to the left, small shuffles to the right. Going back and forward. Don't be standing up and clicking those feet. If you click those feet, you're more likely to trip. So, avoid that, obviously. And then don't cross your feet, because again, more likely to trip. And then move anything out away from you that's a hazardous. So, all righty, lateral shuffles, last one here, finishing the first round. Let's hit it here in three, two, one. We're going to stay low, small steps to the left, small steps to the right. Short time. Three, two, one, relax. Stand up, walk around, grab a sip of water. We're not gonna take too long of a rest. That was a pretty easy first round. Now we're gonna pick up that pace. Okay, sorry for that noise earlier. I'll reiterate some things if you guys are needing some questioning or um, some alternatives to that. Um, for this round, you don't need to increase the weight if you want to. You can to push that tempo a little bit, but make sure you have good technique. We're moving fast today. Once again, we're starting off with pillar skips. So let's come back to center and let's get to work. 25 seconds are going to be on the clock. All right, here we go. Let's hit it here. Pillar skips in three, two, one. We're rolling. 25 seconds this time through. Little box break in between, picking up that pace. If you want to march in place for this one, you can as well. Two, one, relax. After that, we have the push ups. Control on the way down, on your knees, driving on the way up. Here we go, two, one, we're headed slow and controlled off your knees, fall on your knees, and drive on up. If you need to stay on your knees the entire time, that's okay. Just challenge yourself with that control part if you're able to. Two, one, relax. After that, we have elevated glute bridges, a single leg. So it's making sure you're having that room. Legs straight, uh, other legs are gonna be straight, other legs gonna be bent. Start with my left leg. All right, here we go. Let's hit it here in three, two, one. We're going drive those hips up and through. You need to put both legs down today. That's okay. Still working on pausing at the top. Two, 
two, one, relax. Switching on up, other leg. Here we go, two, one, we're hitting it. Rocking those hips out, pause at the top. Body in good alignment. Ten more seconds. Two, one, relax. Top on up, we have face rotation. Find those four corners, rotate those hips quick. Here we go. Two, one, we're on. Go, go, go. Keep rotating those hips. Good, solid movements. Quick, quick, quick. One, relax. Here we go, we have three more overhead tricep extensions. You guys can be standing, I'm just gonna be kneeling. Pressing up over that head. Here we go, two, one, we're hitting it. Punching through those elbows, driving the ceiling. Nice job, keep on rolling. Squeezing that core, don't be leaning back too far. Here we go, two, one, relax. Grab both those weights, have them get a little heavier this time. Get RDLs. Shoulders back, big chest, only going down to the mid shin. All right, here we go. Let's hit it here in two, one. We're moving, hips go back. Hips come through, standing up tall. Nice job, working on that technique. You're feeling that stretch of those hamstrings and then you're standing up tall with it. Keep on working, short time. Two, one, relax. Last one here, lateral shuffle. Here we go. Knees bent, staying low. Don't cross your feet. Don't click your feet. Let's hit it here in two, one. We're moving. Small steps to your left and to your right. 25 seconds moving laterally. Here you go, short time. Two, one, relax. Stand, walk around, grab some water. Keep standing, keep moving. Two rounds down, one more to go. Get on this last round, you're gonna be a little tired, a little fatigued. Just keep in focusing on that technique. When you're focusing, when you're tired, that's when you get those best benefits. When those things are really starting to work. So hitting full depth on those push-ups, um, moving, being efficient with some of the other movements, just taking your time and doing it right. And then just keep on working those 30 seconds. All righty. Let's get the clock going. We have 13 minutes left the class, we gotta get moving. Showing off those pillar skips, everything's 30 seconds now. Last time through the circuit. Let's hit it here in three, two, one, we're going. Big arms, big knees, get them on up. We're just grinding this last round.
and you want to march in place at any time, go for it. Transition, but keep on moving. Here we go. Two, one, relax. We have those push ups controlled all the way down, drive on the way up. And then doing that 30 seconds. If you need to shake out your arms, make sure you get a good technique, do so. Take a little, take a little break and then work back into it. All right, here we go. Two, one, we're rolling slow and controlled, and then pushing from those knees up. Nice job. 10 more seconds. Get a few more in. Here we go. Two, one, relax. Elevated glute bridges, single leg. This will be a tough one. Make sure your feet are your, at 90 degree angle between your hips and your calves. Single leg. I'm going to start with the left one here. 30 seconds on the clock. Let's hit it here in two, one. We're rolling. Right, those hips up and through. Bring it on down. Those calves, those hamstrings, those glutes are going to get a good pump here. Ten more seconds. Two, one, relax, switch it on up, switch the legs. Here we go. Two, one, we're hitting it. Last round of the circuit, keep on working. Making that one leg work. 10 more seconds. Two, one, relax. Pop it on up, we have face rotation. Ooh, Ooh the legs are tight. Shaking those suckers out. Here we go, face rotations here in two, one. We're going, rotating those hips. 30 seconds here. It's time. Go, go, go. Here we go. Come on, come on. Here we go, we got some short time here. Keep moving, keep moving. Two, one, relax. Grab a little dumbbell or a dumbbell. Try some overhead extension. Keep that chest big, squeeze that core. Here we go, two, one, we're hitting it. Driving through those elbows, punching to the ceiling. Squeezing that core, don't be leaning back. Keep on working 10 more seconds here. Keep punching. Punch the ceiling. Two, one, relax. Get a little heavier weight. We have those RDLs. Those hands are gonna be a little tight tomorrow, I can already tell. All right, here we go. Let's hit it here. Two, one, we're moving. We're hitting it though. Getting those hamstrings strong. Hips go back, hips come through. Ten more seconds. Come on, we have one more exercise after this. Two, 
One, relax. Here we go, lateral shuffle. Last one here, the circuit. Stay low, stay low, don't cross your feet. Here we go, two, one, we're hitting it. 30 seconds here. Here we go, 10 more seconds. Come on, come on. Three, two, one, relax. Find that water, grab a sip. Strain the power is done, but we're not done yet. Stand up, walk around, moving to our ESD. You guys know I've been here, our ESD. We're pulling our cardio exercises from our strength workout. And we're doing each one 20 seconds, two times through. So today, our cardio exercises, I think we're gonna have a little treat today. We only have three instead of four. We have pillar skips, we have base rotations, and we have the lateral shuffles. That's all we have. A little short ESD at the end, a little reward at the end of the week. We're gonna get to it, we're not gonna mess around. Not a whole lot of time left. So let's start off those pillar skips, 20 seconds on the clock. Let's hit it here in three, two, one. We're rolling. Big arms, big knees, get them on up. Last two rounds of the day, a little burner at the end. Two, one, relax. Base rotations. Stay low. Ah, the corners of those feet, rotating them. Here we go. Two, one, we're going. Go quick here. Not a lot of time left in the end of the day. Push that tempo. One, relax, lateral shuffle. Folks, when you're tired, make sure you're not crossing those feet or clicking them. Here we go. Two, one, we're going. Nice job. Keep going, keep going. Finishing this first round here. Three, two, one, relax. One more round. One more quick round pillar skip. Start off with them. Here we go. Two, one, get on a big arm big knees. Relax, two more. 40 seconds left, here we go. Base rotations. Two, one, we're hitting as close as you can. Going fast, rotate those hips, use those arms. Help you rotate. Get a little lower, get a little lower, bend those knees. One, relax. Last one here, lateral shuffles. Stay low, stay low, and let's work. Here you go, two, all in your head. Last one of the day, here you go. Punch off that foot, change that direction. Three, two, one, relax. Find your water, keep on moving. Stand up, walk around, keep on moving. Don't sit down. Don't stay in one place. Stand up, walk around.
Control that breathing, let the heart rate come down. And when you're ready, let's come to center. Taking that seat. Bring those feet together. Let's push down on those knees. Let's keep that left leg out. Let's reach both hands for that leg. Whew. Hamstrings ain't need that stretch right at the end here. And last one, let's switch to the other leg. Lay the leg in, reaching for that foot. And when you're ready, relax. Well, thank you guys for joining Metabolic Conditioning Day. It's the last class of the week. Way to get it in. We have just finished up the week three of phase one. We have one more week of base building, and then we're going to transition somewhere else with our, maybe we focus on our strength and our cardio, um, one or the other, but we've established this base to keep pushing forward into the new year. So feel proud. We have, we have ways to go, and we're going to keep on working every week. Take care. Enjoy your weekend, and I'll see you next week. Thank you, Ryan. Have a good weekend. You guys, take care. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Jill. See you, Heather.